Hey everyone, Morgan here. So we are doing an answer key for the second side of Redox homework number one. And we're trying to identify things that are both oxidized and reduced in these reactions. Okay, And just to identify, is it an oxidation reduction reaction? So what we're going to do is we're going to look at changes in oxidation number. So copper is going from an oxidation number of zero to a plus two. That means it's losing electrons. That means it is oxidized. Okay. And then the silver is going from a plus one to a zero, which means it is gaining electrons. It is reduced. Although I already knew that because if I know the species that's oxidized, the other reactants, the one that is reduced. Now the thing that is oxidized is automatically the reducing agent and the thing that's reduced is the oxidizing agent. Okay, please, please, please don't be identifying products as being oxidized or reduced. They're products. We're looking at reactants here. Okay, so now zinc is going from a zero to a plus two. That means it's oxidized. It has lost electrons. H plus is going from a plus one to a zero it's reduced, it's gaining electrons. That means this is the reducing agent, this is the oxidizing agent. Once you have identified a single species that changes, you're fine, you can identify all the others. Now this is a tricky one. This actually is gonna turn out to not be a redox. The chromium here, it turns out is a plus six. And the chromium here is a plus six, so there's no change in that. The oxygens aren't changing and the hydrogens aren't changing. So that means no redox is happening. Now here in D, okay, this nitrogen is going from a plus two to a plus four. That means it is losing electrons. It's oxidized, which means this is reduced. This is the oxidizing agent. This is the reducing agent. And it should make sense that anything with this much oxygen would be an oxidizing agent. The magic word here is for E, disproportionation. Okay, what that means is the same species, H2O2, is both oxidized and reduced. The oxygens here in hydrogen peroxide are, I'm sorry, are negative one. And here it's a negative two and here it's a zero. So one of the oxygen atoms gains an electron and one of those oxygen atoms loses an electron. So it is both oxidized and reduced. It's both the reducing agent and the oxidizing agent. Okay, the same thing happens here in letter F. The Cu's are going from a plus one to a plus two, and from a plus one to a zero. So oxidized and reduced, reducing agent and oxidizing agent, and again, this is a disproportionation. Okay, now, here, the oxygens are a zero, and over here, they're both negative twos. That's a rule, oxygens are pretty much always negative twos, except peroxides in natural states. So if it's going from zero to a negative two, it's gaining electrons. That means this is reduced. Therefore, that is oxidized. This is the oxidizing agent. This is the reducing agent. And we can prove that's right because here the carbon is a negative four and here the carbon is a positive four. It lost a lot of electrons. Another tough one here in H, no redox, sorry. you can. <laughs> The numbers, redox number is just the same all the way across, okay? And actually, <laughs> that's going to be true here in I also. It's not a redox. Plus four and plus four for the silicons, minus one, minus one for the chlorines. It's, nothing's changing. Now here's something is changing. The magnesium is going from a zero to a two plus, meaning it's oxidized, so this must be reduced. It's going the silicon from a plus four to a zero. That means this is the reducing agent and this is the oxidizing agent. 
All right, that is page two of Redox number one. Everybody have a good day. This is Morgan signing off.